Hey everyone, welcome to part 72 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we look at how to save the quest when we save the game. So if I speak to this NPC and start a quest, now the quest will be in the started state. And if we speak to the NPC again, he'll say the in progress dialog of the quest, right? And when we start this quest, it will also spawn a pickup over here. So when we save the game, we should save all these states, right? So we look at how to do that in this video. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making this series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me and get access to the complete project files of the series. The project files also contain some advanced features that are not covered on YouTube. So let's start the video. So to save the quest, we don't have to save the entire quest class. We just have to save the name of the quest and its status. All right. So let me create a separate class for that. So I'll call this class quest save data. And I'll also make it serializable so that we can save it. Okay. So in this class, first we need a variable for the name of the quest. And then we should also store the status of the quest. All right, so let me create a variable of quest status. Okay. So next, I'll create a function to convert the quest class into quest save data class. Okay, so I'll call it get save data and it will return quest save data. All right. So in this function, first we need to create an instance of quest save data. And in here we have to assign the name of the quest. And we also have to assign the status. Okay, and then we can just return the quest save data from this function. So we have a function for converting the quest class to quest save data class. So next I need a function to do the opposite. I need a function to restore the quest from the quest save data. So we can use a constructor for that. All right, and this constructor will take the quest save data as the parameter. So in here, first we need to restore the quest base, but we only have the name of the quest inside the save data, right? So we can use the quest DB that we created in the previous video to get the quest base from the name of the quest. So I'll say quest DB dot get object by name and I'll pass the name of the quest as the parameter. Okay. So this will restore the quest base. So next let's also restore the quest status. We can directly get the status from save data dot status. All right. So now we have the functions for getting and restoring the quest save data. So let's use these to save the quest of the player. So all the quests of the player will be in the quest list class inside this list. So we just have to save this list. Okay. So first I'll make this class implement the I save open interface. And let me implement the interface and create the capture state and restore state functions. Okay. So those functions are created. 
so in the capture state we have to store the list of quests but we have to convert the quest class into quest save data class right so for each quest inside the list i'll call the get save data function to convert it into quest save data class and finally let me just convert this into a list and i'll return it from this function okay so this will save the quest list so next we have to restore it from the restore state function so for that first i'll convert the state which is the object that we are trying to restore into a list of quest save data all right that's what we are saying right so let me store this into a variable called save data and then if save data is not equal to null then we can restore it to our quest list so i'll say quest equal to save data and we should actually convert the list of quest save data to a list of quest right so for each element in the list i'll call the quest constructor to convert it into a quest class okay and finally i'll just use to list function to convert it to a list so that's all we have to do to restore the quest but when we make any changes to the quest list we should also invoke the on updated event right this is required for updating the status of the quest objects in the scene so i'll go ahead and invoke the on updated event all right so that's all we have to do this will save the player's quest list for us so next in the npc controller we should save things like the active quest and quest to start and quest to complete so you might be wondering why we need to save these two the reason is because when we start a quest or complete a quest we are setting this variable to null so that the npc won't try to start or complete the quest again so it's important to save these two variables so first let me make the npc controller class implement the i saveable interface all right and then i'll implement the capture state and restore state functions from the i saveable interface all right so the functions are created over here so what should we save in the capture state function we should save the active quest the quest to start and quest to complete right so let me create a separate class with these three objects so i'll call the class npc quest save data and in here first we need an object for the active quest and next we need one for quest to start all right and finally we need one for quest to complete okay and let me also make this class serializable so that we can serialize and save it all right so now in the capture state we can create an instance of the npc quest save data okay 
and next we need to assign these three objects so first I'll assign the active quest okay so active quest is actually an instance of quest class so we need to convert it into quest save data by calling get save data function all right so next let's assign the quest to start object okay so quest to start is actually an instance of quest base it's not an instance of quest right so we only have a way of converting a quest class into quest save data class we don't have a way of converting a quest base class to quest save data class so here what we have to do is first we have to create a new instance of the quest class by passing quest to start as the quest base okay and then we can call get save data on this new instance that we created all right so this is how we can convert quest base into quest save data but there is a problem with this code if the quest to start is null then it will throw an exception when we try to create a quest instance from it okay so before running this line of code we should check if quest to start is not equal to null okay so next we have to do the same for quest to complete so let me just copy this and paste it below okay and i'll change quest to start to quest to complete all right and finally we can just return the save data from this function okay so next let's restore the save data from the restore state function so for that first i'll convert the state into npc quest save data and let me just store it in a variable called save data all right and then if the save data is not equal to null we can try and restore it so first i'll restore the active quest so we can directly assign the active quest in the save data because the active quest inside the save data is actually quest save data class right so we need to convert it into an object of quest class so let me call the quest constructor and pass the quest save data as the parameter okay so this will restore the active quest but again one problem we might have is if the active quest is null then it will throw an exception here when we try to create a quest object with it so here i'll check if save data dot active quest is not equal to null and i'll only execute this if it's not equal to null and otherwise i'll just return null okay so next let's restore quest to start in the same way all right so i'll change this from active quest to quest to start okay but we have an error here that's because quest to start is actually quest base right it's not an instance of the quest class so let me get the quest base from it by calling dot base okay so this will restore the quest to start for us and finally let me do the same for quest to complete 
so I'll change all these two quests to complete okay so that's all we need to do by the way there is a small thing that I missed over here so while calling active quest dot get save data we have to use a null conditional operator over here otherwise we'll get an exception if the active quest is null okay so let's go to unity and test this so the quest list is actually attached to the player right it's attached over here so the player already has a saveable entity script attached to it so it will be marked as a saveable entity and the quest list will be saved okay and similarly if we open up the npc prefab so the npc controller script is attached to this prefab and here also we have a saveable entity script attached so it's marked as saveable and we don't have to do anything else so let's go ahead and test this all right so if i go speak to this npc it'll start a quest and now if we speak again he'll say the in progress dialogue of the quest right since the quest is already started and also when we start the quest it will spawn a pickup over here so now if we save the game the state of the quest and the quest object should also be saved right so let's go ahead and test that so i'll save the game and i'll restart okay so now when i load you can see that the quest object is still there and if i go speak to the npc he's still saying the in progress dialog so that means the status of the quest was saved and restored correctly all right so we can also try completing the quest and then saving so let me get this revive and give this to the npc to complete the quest okay so the quest hasn't completed so let me save the game now and let me restart and load all right so now if i speak to the npc he won't give us the quest since the quest is already completed he'll just say the default dialogue so i'll stop the video here if you think these videos are helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that will really help me out so i'll see you in the next video